I met John Pertry today, and I told him that when I who was in London several years ago, saw him give one of the great comic stage performances in a play called There's a Girl in My Soup, and I was real pleased to meet him, because he is really a legendary English star who's been nice enough to come to Australia with his show. So I think you're real lucky here in Australia and suddenly just to be able to see him in person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, I want to, I want to ask you, because he's already asleep. Yes. Yeah, he takes drugs, you know. No. I want to ask you, what, what this metal is. This is beautiful metal. You can't see it because it does a close-up. Well, what is this? You should know what that is. That is the Grand Order of Water Rats, which is the... Uh, what? what? You, you know. You, they obviously, you, you know you've heard of the Grand oh, Order of Water Rats. We don't have, well, no, I don't know. Well, it's, you, water it's, rats. it's rather like your Lambs Club. Oh, know? it's like a show business club. It's a show business uh, oh. lodge. It's like the sort of Masonic lodge of the light entertainment business in the oh. uh, in England. Well, I have an office in England. Can they get me a membership if I'm no. a good boy? No. No, no Thank way. You. Why? Oh, you have to wait. You have to wait to be told. Oh, excuse me. You have to wait to be asked. I know Brenda. Yeah, that won't help you. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's the queen. Yes, good enough. Uh, John. Yes. You good like, evening. Very nice to meet you. How are you? Very nice. Well, everyone knows you were Doctor Who for five years. Yes. The thing I was fascinated about finding out about you was the amount of children's records and books that you've done. This is something we don't know about in Australia. I haven't read that you did Hans Christian Anderson, wrote it, recorded it, recorded yeah. in your own voice, then in Danny Kaye's voice as well. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I used to be called, for some strange reason, England's Danny Kaye. Uh, I, people thought I looked a bit like him. Do you think I look like him, Alan? Oh, no. You do You look like Sybil Burton. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd much rather, hey, look, like Burton. I'd much rather <laughs> look like Sybil Burton than I would from Danny Kaye. Of course. But I, I was uh, told at one time that I looked very like him. And uh, I, but I, I once made a, a, a movie, very stupidly, because I was short of a bit of money, because Danny couldn't come to England, and he made a film called Knock on Wood in England. Yeah. And, I, and so I doubled for him because he couldn't come. And that was a terrible error, because Danny gave the whole game away. Uh, after the premiere. What do you mean he did, was, uh, I, I was I really, it was really John the whole time, see? He, could, he couldn't come to, to London, so I was doing all the scenes in London and England. And, uh, well, but I saw country. it. He was in it. Yes, he was in it, yes, but I mean, I, he couldn't come to England, so all the shots that you saw in London, Is in the country, true? that was all me. Were that's you the one under the table yes. pulling all the Oh, that's land. amazing. I didn't yeah. know that. Darting in and out of the cars and all that. Yes. That was me, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell that in America. I can't wait to go on Johnny Carson. Danny, hear that fraud. You have great hair. Does he have the best hair? So don't you think this guy has fabulous hair? Can you see the join? That's the thing. <laughs> You'll have a pull. Go on, have a pull, because they might not believe it. Go on, have a real good time. Go it's on. like Ann Miller's hair. It's fair. It doesn't move. <laughs> but you know, no, it's it's one of the reviews I was reading today about uh, your show in England, they're saying, this guy does a one-man set up of flamenco, calypso. That's right, yes, I do in cabaret. Yeah, well, I'm but a someone who's seen you in, in Doctor Who, this is... Can you go well, and run it? Well, I, no, I don't do that in Doctor Who, no. No, no, no. but... No, I do this in sections. You see, I, I used to be a, a straight actor. I, I was brought up as a straight actor. I'm from an acting family. My family had been in the theatre for generations, so there was nothing else I could do except go on the dole. Um, What's I, that? The dole. That's uh, the way when you get money for doing that. Relief. Dole, relief. You know, it's a relief. Oh. Uh, relief. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, that means pineapple in Hawaii. Military, not sexual. Oh. Yes. Okay. And so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, 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 yeah, where the hell were we? I mean, they, 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 you were on relief. Uh, what? You were on relief. Your family well, was interviewing Your family was... Well, Alan's interviewing we we both are. I'm interjecting. Right. We love you. Right. We love you. Just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When did you first play for Australia? When did I... I haven't... I, where? <laughs> uh, when did I p first play in Australia? It was yes. 27 years ago. Ten. Yes. You're the captain of the New Zealand team. Yeah. <laughs> I was... Yes. Is there still a bit show of... here? I was 27 years ago, yes, at the first Folie Berger Review type show in Australia yeah. for the uh, late David N. Martin. Uh, who, 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 won, who won the game? Uh, well, uh, um, I did, because <laughs> I didn't care for Mr. David N. Martin, so I left very early. I was supposed yes. to be here for another year, and I decided I'd go to Tahiti instead, and I lived there for a year. It was much, much more pleasurable. Well, when you first uh, directed when you first directed the uh, village people, did you find them easy to work with? <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, do it nude when you were in the Follies, was you? Uh, no, no, no. I, I left that two ladies. They were more attractive than oh, I was then. I Not now, I but then. Let me ask, listen, you are just being a silly old person. <laughs> I want to know... <laughs> <laughs> How what? No one sells here. How long will we be playing in Sydney? And when can they get tickets? And let's get on with it. No, seriously, how, well, how long is your season here? Uh, I, I'm not doing a season here. Oh, God. <laughs> so, that, so that is the end of that conversation. Oh, yeah. my it's God. It's the, the theatre restaurant, the theatre restaurant at Bankstown. I'm doing the theatre restaurant in, Bank ta in Bankstown for four days, and then I go to Townsville. I'm going to Townsville because I want to go and dive. I'm a diver. 
Um, that's my hobby. Um, what, do diver. Mean, what do you mean, diver? Dive, you know, sub aquat, look, you know, the things that where you go around and you look for treasures like that. It's called a piece of eight. You've heard of a piece yeah, of eight? Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. pirate treasure. Oh, you know? you, oh, you, oh, I see. And I go down and I look for things like that, but I won't find anything like that. I, I'll probably find some starfish eating whelks or something. Good. But I want to do that because it's the most beautiful reef in the world to dive You've also been well, described yeah. for many, not as a diver, but as a man of a thousand voices. So they say, as it's completely untrue, of course, nobody's got a thousand voices, they all sound much the same, but uh, they have the same pitch, except Peter Sellers, he has an astonishing range, but uh, yeah, I do most dialects and most characters. Can you do a Peter Sellers for us? No, no, who can? Peter can't, because Peter doesn't know who he is, I don't know who I am. <laughs> but uh, we all hide under what we call green umbrellas, we don't like to be ourselves very long, but the Doctor Who was about the first time that I was myself. Right, now tell us this review you do. At the banks, at the theatre. Well, it, it isn't a review. It, it's just that it's an what entertainment. I'm an entertainer. I, I don't really know until I get out there. I, I, it varies according to the audience. I'm a raconteur, basically. I tell stories in dialect. I find out where people come from and tell stories in the dialects where they came from or their antecedents. Do you still from. play the banjo? And I still play the guitar, but with only four strings, because I originally started playing a ukulele and I never built up from there. <laughs> so, so I play a ukulele with a very big version of it, you know, sort of daddy. And you may or may not dance. But, but, but I may or may not dance. You yes. may or may not recite I poetry. Or, I may or may not. Um, yeah, I, well, I do recite a bit of poetry. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. You may or may not sing. I do sing. Oh yes, I do. I do uh, satirical songs, uh, folk songs with the guitar. But you only how long are you here for? For four days. Yes. Oh, what a oh, waste! Well, but I'm coming I... back. I mean, I haven't been here for 27 years. I've been in New Zealand, you see, for a month. And I, I have to go back because I have to start work on my new television series, which you're about to show in, in, in Australia. Which is? Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> Wurzel Gummidge, my dear, and, that's, that's, and would you be telling us what it's about? I will. It's in Irish. It's will you not... say, would you be telling us what it's about? That's Irish. That is about the about a, a scarecrow uh, called Wurzel Gummidge. His head's made out of mango wurzel. You know what I'm talking about? No. Well, no, no, no. well some of them might do because it's a very popular book. It was written years and years ago by a lady called Barbara Euphan Todd in the 30s, and it's about a scarecrow who comes to life through the love of two little children, and they befriend him. He oh. becomes a, a friend of theirs. Ah, that's sweet. It is oh, I like yes. to, why don't you do films like that? That'd be nice. We well, probably it? will, don't it? I'm going to steal it. Yeah, no, you won't steal no, it. No. You can't. You're going to make oh. it before or after the rugby movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to. Listen, I actually, you know what I'm doing? You, you find this fascinating. I'm going to do a Broadway London musical version of La Cage Four. Are you indeed? Yes, have you seen it? No. You should see it. Yes. Because you'd be wonderful in it. Have I got the job? Well, we could talk about it. Can we talk money? I'd like to talk money. It's the most important part of it all is the money. <laughs> I don't, it's too vulgar to talk about money. Oh, well, I've You're in the, you're the art. You're, you're for art. What? No, I'm not for art. I'm for toot. <laughs> Is that like tit? No, no, no. A tit is money. Oh, I see. Don't he speak English? What's the matter with his keys? Well, my, he's only going to offer the Queen a million, so I don't think the... Uh... <laughs> Does he think the Queen be good on his Deborah Carr parts? Deborah Carr parts? Yes, for the Queen? No, not very. Oh. Yeah. What, what would you cast her in? For who? The Queen. The Queen? She could do a play or a movie. What would I... Oh. Who? Oh. Uh, tables. What would I cast the Queen in? I think her own role. I think she's best at that. No, she's fabulous at that. Mm. Mm. I don't, I, that, 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 that subject that's, that's the best performance in the world. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, John we, Pertwee, we've only got four days to see him, but when you are back in Sydney, yes. could we extend it? Could you come back on the show and we just have a whole night with you entertaining us? I would love as, it. As you would see. I, I would like to very much indeed. Because it would be nice to have a gentleman with us on the show. <laughs> the nice Who said that? I think that's very... Oh, oh, the turn. worm turn. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of role would you see Alan playing? Alan, well, the role he's done, which he's uh, has done miraculously. I he mean, has, hasn't he? He has, yes. Right. I mean, he's done extraordinary things with extraordinary people and uh, made himself a million into the bargain, so you can't do better than that, can you? I, hope, I, I, I hope when we... Did you, did you say you had a Rolls? Yes, an old did you? An old Rolls, and you, you banged into... Um, the yeah. gentleman's car. Uh, Did you have you heard the story about the gentleman who went to the motor show in London and he wanted to buy a new car and the the, the salesman said, "I say so." He said, "Have you ever seen, have you seen the new automatic car?" <laughs> 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 and he said, uh, "No, no, I, I don't. I don't think so. No." He said, "Absolutely fantastic." Sir. He said, "You see, it has absolutely no brakes, no steering wheel, no clutch, no nothing." <laughs> He said, yes, two little dials for starting, one for starting, one for stopping. Well, what code word would you like for starting? The old man said, 
said, oh, God blimey. I said, what did we put what's that, sir? He said, I, I said, oh, God blimey. He said, that's a swear word to me. Yeah. Know. And he said, oh, very good indeed, sir. Yes, and he said it to oh, God blimey. He said, now, what would you like for stopping? He said, I know an old Indian army word, flub. He said, I have no idea what it means, sir. All the better for that. Very good indeed, sir. Yes, flub, the stopping. So he said, oh, God blimey for starting and flub the stopping. So he bought it. And uh, he said, oh, God, blimey, and the car shot away, went three times around the stadium. When he said, club, it stopped dead on the button. And he bought, he was so impressed, and he took his wife for a drive, you see, that weekend. And halfway down to a place called Brighton, which is in the south coast of England. Uh, he, his wife said, have you any objection, Charles, to my having a drive? And he said, no, dear, get behind the do 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 get behind the she said, well, what is the code word for starting? He said, you should have a damn stupid word. You have to say, oh, God, blind. And she said, what's so stupid? <laughs> and I thought, possibly, he said, oh, God, yeah, go say it. The God's sake, or the damn thing won't start, you see. So she said, oh, very well. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> oh, God, blind. And the car shot away, you see. And when it got outside this place called Brighton, it turned left, heading towards the place called Eastbourne. And between Eastbourne and Brighton, you, have, you know, Alan, you've been to London and England, and there's a, a great series of cliffs, the White Cliffs of Dover, and there's a, an enormously tall cliff there called Beachy Head, and right opposite Beachy Head, the car went completely berserk, and it went to the left to the right, and out to the left, and it went over the grass verge, and headed straight for Beachy Head. You see, the husband said, stop the car, dear, stop the children, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling, 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 and he said, he said, well, say the code, we're stopping, she said, well, what is it? He said, flub, and she said, flub, and the car stopped that much from the edge of Beachy Head, and the husband said, oh, God, blind. <laughs>